Hello. Good day. It's uh, January 22nd. It's 120, 1.40, I should say. And it's time for Comments X. Over the last the last comments that I made, uh, uh, I got a comment on it. I was talking about atheism, and this is sort of a continued uh, comment on uh, the comments that I'm work I'm still working on for uh, the amazing atheist. Uh, but I got a uh, comment from uh, a person named. Uh, Matthew Taylor Brown, uh, he, he's got no picture that I'm assuming that his account is just recent or uh, just so he could place an answer. Uh, I'm going to answer him. I was thinking about his, que his question and his sort of a statement. And he agrees the, about the religion part, but he says that there are still no gods. I'm going to, uh, rather than simply uh, uh, state, no, he's wrong, I'm going to deal with this in, in more of an academic fashion. And this is how we deal with most things. And you have to sort of go in and look at the definition of things in here. Now, you could say there are still no gods and say, yes, he's right, because... Uh, if you believe in Christianity, uh, you don't. You're a monotheist, not a polytheist. A polytheist is a person who believes in multiple gods. Uh, a monotheist is a person who believes in one god. Now, so that's that statement there. If you take it in that sense, if you take his comments as still no gods being an argument against polytheism then you can say yeah he's right um there is no but the same there is no there are no gods and so and end it there but given the fact that i think he's probably an atheist though he doesn't necessarily state this this sort of is implied in his statements here that he is an atheist He's probably referring to the fact that there are no his gods. The, the the plural there is not simply stating an argument against polytheism, but any form of theism, except for of course his atheism, where there is no god or gods. So it's the all-encompassing argument. That would be the all-encompassing argument that there is no God or gods, there is no uh, outside being or whatever. So he is making a statement of atheism, not agnosticism, which uh, it states there might be a God. So this is a statement there is of atheism, not agnosticism, where there, they, they, there might be a God, but they don't know. Uh, these The agnostic statements uh, of there might be a God uh, actually come out of two sources uh, if you want to follow this in terms of theology you can go down and look at the two philosophers before Christ uh, both Aristotle and um, and uh, Buddha both of whom were Eastern philosophers they were at the time there was no West there was no Western philosophy at the time of both Buddha and uh, Aristotle, everything was East. Uh, Aristotle uh, was the person who accompanied uh, uh, Saint Ale uh, who, who who accompanied Alexander the Great uh, uh, into his Hellenist escapade, escapades, which led him all the way from Egypt to India and this sort of uh, sort of spread the Greek genes around a bit and this is sort of where I say that Greeks uh, are split into two there is the north western Greek which are primarily Europeans and then there's the southeastern Greeks who 
spread from Hellenism all the way from Africa into Asia. And I'm of that uh, Eastern variety, so was Aristotle, so was Buddha, because Buddha uh, can be included uh, in this sphere here as, a, as an Eastern philosopher. Um, although he, Buddha himself, is known more specifically as an Eastern philosopher, Aristotle, in many ways, is said, oh, he's the Western philosopher. But he's not a Western philosopher. He's an Eastern philosopher. He did accompany... Um, Aristotle did accompany Alexander the Great to India. Uh, so that would establish him uh, because of the, geograph the, the geography of, of his sort of his 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 intellectual domain was primarily Africa to Asia. It wasn't uh, in the West because the West at this time didn't exist. So, uh, the way I'm going to, to uh, uh, deal with this uh, no God statements is not from the uh, moth, mon the monotheistic view that he's arguing against polytheism. I'm taking the the all-encompassing atheistic statement. And to answer this, it, it, as I said, this is not a simple subject. This is something that is a, a rather enormous subject. So we're relie relieving, leaving religion and moving into theology. And theology itself. Uh, is a parallel to philosophy, uh, which includes, uh, instead of a PhD, it includes a THD, a theological degree, uh, a theological doctorate's degree. So the amount of time spent studying uh, would be equivalent to any PhD, uh, stu any PhD studying philosophy. But I have found through observation that most theologies uh, and most theologians uh, tackle a thing from the the Aristotelian or the philosophical uh, aspect so most of theology still is within the realm of, of philosophy What I'm aiming to do here is begin the argument, and this argument uh, in favor of God, of a God, will be approximately two weeks in length, because it is an enormous topic, and just the introduction alone will take approximately two weeks, and I don't want to do too long. I'm going to try to keep this, these comments to about 15 minutes each, so you don't get too overwhelmed with stuff. Uh, I'm going to call it the Omega Construct. This will be understand, understood later on why I call it the Omega Construct. I will put in the description how to recognize the Omega Construct. So the first comments are now the X comments and we will have the new Omega Construct, the Omega comments, which will be the Omega Construct uh, for the next two weeks, and if I make any comments as I uh, sort of uh, wander around YouTube, uh, uh, these comments will be why comments, or comments why. So, what the whole Omega Construct is, is going to set out to do is sort of to extend quantum physics into metaphysics. Metaphysics has a very bad reputation at this point because metaphysics primarily is used by mystics to explain or give their perspective some intellectual or scientific credibility. But I'm going to demonstrate that that both the idea of the intellectual universe and the mystical universe 
are incorrect. That the universe is now, under quantum mechanics, an anti-logical universe and cannot be confined or constrained within the intellectual construct. And an intellectual construct is your standard subjective philosophy. It's this, the philosophy is a construct that is subject to the human mind. What I'm going to present is a construct that is independent of the human mind. This will be done using a, 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 you know, an enormous amount of observation. And this is where the problem comes in. The construct will not be giving out references to specific books because there is no one specific book on, the, on this topic. What there are out there are entire libraries on this subject. Libraries at schools like Oxford, Harvard, John Hopkins. These places all have massive libraries filled to the brim on these topics. And there's no way to, to sort of present a single book as a reference. So the construct basically is the beginning of, if you want to sort of study and have an informed opinion of, of the term of the, 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 the theology of atheism or not, uh, that you, this is the beginning of, uh, of essentially an eight-year study. It, you know, it, 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 I'm gonna after the con after I put out the construct for two week for the two weeks, uh, I'm gonna continue on building the construct and bringing out the theories that I've been working on for the last twenty years. But all the work that's been done so far is gonna take me six months to get out onto the internet. So this is not going to be a simple or a short challenge. So, for those of you who wish, the shortest path is the construct, where you may sort of stop at that point and say, okay, I agree or disagree. But if you want the more informed choice, the informed choice is to step off the curb and dive into uh, the uh, the construct, the 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 the, the, the Sort of the depths of the study, the, of the study, and the, the, the and it's essentially uh, mostly library science. It's it's spending a large chunk of your time in the library. So this will be the path I'll take. I'll take. Uh, I'm going to thank uh, Matthew Taylor Brown for his comments. Uh, at this point, I'll segue over to the more mundane. Uh, that I'm still watching uh, primarily uh, Nerds RL as a reference for Big Bang Theory RL. It's Nerds RL that I sort of got the idea that say, hey, I can do something like this. Uh, so I am watching uh, Nerds RL to see what they do to get maybe if I can do some of the things they're doing and, or you know, just generally to get some, some ideas as to uh, how to improve what I'm doing. So it's not necessarily that I'm copying them, it's just that I, I want to see uh, what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong uh, in, in by comparing what I'm doing with uh, what they're doing. Now, there isn't a, a whole group of people here, so it's just going to be me. I don't go out a lot of plate to a lot of places because I spend a large chunk of my time in my library, in my lab, so a lot of what you'll see as I start to put together some video montages uh, will be primarily within th this, uh, uh, within my uh, uh, labs and library. So this is it for the comments for today. Uh, I'm going to try to get the first uh, Omega comment out today. I am also going to attempt to do a why comment as well, the, the, the comments why, to sort of, as I've uh, sort of drift around the internet, put out a couple comments like that. So we'll, we'll see what happens throughout the day. Anyways, that's about it. I'll see you a little bit later on.